time of the week again. That's right, it's time for another fantastic episode of Story Makers and Friends. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to have a brilliant story to tell to you today. But who knows what that will be? Well, over the last few weeks we've had some amazing characters who've been their way in here to tell us some fantastic stories. We've had rainbow birds, we've had cockroaches, we've had policemen, we've had kings. It's been fantastic. And I can't wait to see who comes in today. But I think I know what I'd like to do first. And I'd like to get myself nice and warm by doing the pirate song. So come on then, here goes. Woo! When I was one I suck me thumb. When I was one I suck me thumb the day I went to sea. I climbed up on a pirate ship and the captain said to me We'll go this way, that way, forward, back, so the Irish Sea A bottle of rum to fill me so it's a pirate like with me Woo! When I was two, I buckled me shoe When I was two, I buckled me shoe the day I went to sea I climbed up on a pirate ship and the captain said to me We're we'll going this way, that way, forward, back, so the Irish Sea A bottle of rum to fill me so it's a pirate like with me Woo! When I was three, I grazed my knee The day I went to sea I climbed aboard a pirate ship And the captain said to me We're well, going this way, that way, forward, backwards Over the Irish Sea I'm on the room to fill me So it's a pirate's life for me Woo! When I was four, I swam ashore When I was four, I swam ashore The day I went to sea I climbed aboard a pirate ship And the captain said to me We're well, going this way, that way, forward, back Over the Irish Sea a bottle of rum to fill me some of the pirate's life for me Woo! When I was five I learned to dive When I was five I learned to dive The day I went to sea I climbed aboard a pirate ship And the captain said to me We're going this way, that way, forward, backwards Over the Irish Sea A bottle of rum to fill me some of the pirate's life for me Woo! When I was six I gathered sticks When I was six I gathered sticks The day I went to sea I climbed the board of pirate ship and the captain said to me We're going this way, that way, forward, backwards over the Irish Sea A bottle of rum to fill me so much a pirate life for me Woo! But I was seven afraid to heaven I was seven afraid to heaven the day I went to sea I climbed the board of pirate ship and the captain said to me We're going this way, that way, forward, backwards over the Irish Sea A bottle of rum to fill me so much a pirate life for me Woo! When I was eight, I was almost like When I was eight, I was almost like The day I went to sea I climbed aboard a pirate ship And the captain said to me We're going this way, that way, forward, backwards Over the Irish Sea A bottle of rum to fill me to a pirate fly for me Woo! When I was nine, I was feeling fine When I was nine, I was feeling fine The day I went to sea I climbed a boulder pirate ship and the captain said to me We're going this way, that way, forward, backwards over the Irish Sea A bottle of rum to fill me, so much of Irish life for me Woo! When I was ten I started again When I was ten I started again The day I went to sea I climbed a boulder pirate ship and the captain said to me We're going this way, that way, forward, backwards over the Irish Sea A bottle of rum to fill me, so much of Irish life for me Woo! Carl. And once again, that was the pirate song. I love joining in with that song. I really do. But however, it's time for us to move on because we need to find out what special friend is going to be beamed in here into the story makers story room and what amazing story they're going to tell us today. Well, I can let you in on a little secret because I know that today's story is going to be this story here. it's called Into the Jungle and this story was written by everyone who used to go along to sessions at Tameside Central Library and they had help with the words by Carol Hart and help with the illustrations by Adam Price. Now let's have a look at this story here. We've got a character on the front. I think that character might like eating carrots. Hmm. Let's have a look round, shall we, to see if we can get any clues. 
Do we think a monkey might tell us this story? It's a very colourful looking monkey. I'm not too sure. Do we think that a ferocious lion might tell us this story? Hmm, I wonder. Or could it be a friendly rabbit, just like this hairy young fellow here, who tells us the story into the jungle? Well, I don't know about you, but I can't wait to find out. So let's give those fingers a wiggle. Here we go. And one, two, three, let's all see who our special friend will be. One, two, three, let's all see who our special friend will be. One, two, three, let's all see who our special <laughs> Hello there, everyone. My name is Roger, and I'm a rabbit. That's right, I'm a rabbit just like this one here. And my name is Roger the Rabbit. Rabbits are brilliant and it's lovely being a rabbit. Here are some of my little rabbit friends here. Let's have a look at them. There they are. Aren't they lovely? <laughs> They're only very small, aren't they? Let's have a look at what they're eating. Lots and lots of vegetables and green things that are very good for you. Little baby rabbits, they love playing in the soil. Oh, there's the cat! 
carrot! There's the carrot! I nearly got it then, didn't I? Here's the carrot. And look, I'm chasing that meat be the bird's feathers there. Same side story makers. They've made an awful lot of stories. They're really good. Here's the rainbow bird. Hello there, rainbow bird. It's very nice. Read by Carol Hart. And illustrations by Adam Price. People look out for that fox. We don't want him here. What's that? Oh, it's the fox! It's the fox! Ooh! Ooh! I went to the library to borrow a book. The librarian checked it out. Give a big cheer for the carrot and for the librarian. Hooray! And let me hear some stamp, stamp, ping, stamp, stamp, ping. There I am, reading my book. It's got the rainbow bird on it. Keep it. Oh, the carrot, there it is. Oh, I'm, oh, I nearly had a nibble then. Hooray. There I am, I look shocked. I don't know what's happened. My last page flew away. Oh, dear, it's the last page with a swoosh. Everybody give me a swoosh. Keep an eye out for that fox. Hey, I cried, come back. But a bird snatched the page and disappeared. There it is. That's a, oh, it's the fox. It's the fox. Boo. Boo. I don't like the fox. Boo for the fox. There it is. The rainbow bird is taking it away. And in the library you can get books on the rainforest, under the sea, space and cooking. They all sound very exciting. Let me see you flapping your wings like this, please. Flap, 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 flap. Lots of flapping. I'm chasing the rainbow bird. Inside the room it was dark and steamy. Long vines hung from the shelves. Everybody give me some squawk. Squawk, squawk, ah, give me some booze. Boo. And I need a crow, crow. Oh, there's a lizard. It maybe give me a caw, caw as well like that. That's it. There's a lizard there. Don't do the carrot. Oh, I nearly had it then. It was so noisy. What noise does this animal here make an elephant like that? And there's a snake. And there's an animal that's making this sound like a kick, 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 kick. Keep your eye out for the fox. And a grrrr. And that tiger. Till I spotted the bird. It's the rainbow bird. There he is. Oh, it's the fox. Oh, boo. So I swung on a snake. Let me see you swinging from side to side. I wriggled through the vines. Everyone wriggling. Oh, there's a carrot coming up. Oh, hooray, yikes. I jumped across the stepping stones and boing, boing, boing. There we are, boinging across the stones. And give me a snip, snap, as I dodged past the crocodile. There I am, a crocodile. They're dangerous. Oh, the fox is dangerous. Boo. But I couldn't see the bird anywhere. Then, tweet, 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 tweet. There it was, right at the top of a tall, tall tree. Stretch up as high as you can for me. The very tall tree. There it is up there. And give me another car, car, just like that. That bird there. I climbed up and up and up and up. Higher and higher. Higher and higher. I wonder what was up there. Oh, there's the carrot. Hooray! Go on, the carrot. We like the carrot. Don't like that fox. What creature is this in the tree? The view was amazing. Ah, I've got a view of the fox. Ooh. Don't like the fox. Tweet, 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 tweet. Let me hear some tweeting from you all. Tweet, 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 tweet. Here I am. I think I'm still climbing, aren't I? I am indeed. And there's some eggs. And there's that rainbow bird there. I found some crumbs in my pocket. The bird picked them up. I think they might be crumbs of carrot, carrot crumbs. Oh, there's a carrot! Hooray! Did I look down? How am I going to get home? I cried. Oh dear, oh dear, I think I might have got stuck. That's not good, is it? There we are. Maybe the bird can help. Maybe the bird can help. Don't worry, said a giraffe, you can slide down my neck. Everybody give me a wee! And I landed with a fox! with the fox I landed with a bump like this bump I was so dizzy everybody twirl your hands round for me dizzy 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 they're out into the jungle with the rainbow bird give them all a cheer everyone hooray what a brilliant story and I wonder what I'll read next time I might not read anything next time I might not be back I don't know who's going to be back next week there I am with a book about food 
And another bird there. I love food. It really does. It just makes me want to dance. Here I go. Here we go. I love to dance. I really do. Here we go. Dancing, dancing. Yes, it is I, the Rainbow Bird. Is that you, Rainbow Bird? Roger, I have lots of carrots for us to eat. What, you've got lots and lots of carrots? Yes, you must come to the jungle and eat them with me. I would love to come and eat them with you. That would be brilliant. Thank you so much. Right, boys and girls, I'm going to have to go. I'll see you all later. Bye! Well... That was Roger the Rabbit. He loves carrots. He doesn't like the foxes though, does he? He certainly doesn't. He was brilliant. And I love today's story, Into the Jungle. And I hope you all joined in with all those actions at home. There was lots to do, wasn't there? Now, we've reached the point in today's programme where I would usually do some story maker shout outs. But this week, I'm gonna do something a little different because Next week's episode is our last episode for a little while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect all the shout outs together and I'm going to give everyone a special shout next week. So please remember, if you want a shout out, next week's your last chance. So post your messages on Tameside Library's Facebook page and I can give you a special shout and a wave. But as for me, that's all I've got time for for today. But... We've still got one last special friend who's going to come in here and give us a very important message. But I'll see you all again soon, story makers. Have a brilliant week. Bye! <laughs> Hello there, boys and girls, and good people of Tameside. Once again, it is I, Florence Nightingale, a.k.a. Lamparella. And I'm here today to talk to you, and I'd like to talk about the fact that, quite recently, there has been a slight loosening of the rules regarding lockdown. Now this means that I, Florence Nightingale, will be able to have a barbecue in my back garden. And I thought I'd invite my old muck around, Richard Monkton Milnes. Now, if you remember rightly, a couple of years ago, when I was 17, hmm, Monkton Mills asked me to marry him. But I said, no, Moncton Milnes, I can't, because I'm off to the Crimea to work with the boys over there. And I left him heartbroken. But to try and make up for this, I'll invite him round for a chicken drumstick. But before I do this, I'm going to see if he is aware of the rules and regulations and what he can and can't do when he's in my back garden for a barbecue. So I set up a quick video conference with him to make sure that he knows the rights and wrongs of barbecuing. Here we go. Mountain Milne. Hello there, Florence. Hello there, are yes. you there? Yes, can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Yes. Yes. Can you can you see me? Yes, I can see you, Mountain Milne. Can you hear I, I can't. Can you hear me? I've got you now. It's got, got you now. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there, Florence. Hello there, Richard Moncton Mills. Yes, you? yes, wash my hands. Good there. job. Look, wash my hands. Wash them again. Very nice. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> stuff. Now, Richard Moncton Mills, I thought I'd just check Let's in with see. you to see if you're all right. Mm -hmm. Thinking about having a barbecue in the back garden. Oh, yes. Yes, I'd love to come round for a barbecue. Oh, that you can. Be absolutely marvellous. It'd be lovely seeing you, Florence. It really would. That's enough of that, Moncton Mills. for such a long time now, haven't you? First things first, I'd like to ask you a few questions okay, before then. you come round. Fire away. Before you come round to me, house, what's the first thing you need to do? Well, I think I'd have to straighten my tie. And make no, sure Moncton Mills. Yes. You need to wash your hands. No, wash your hands no, thoroughly, no, no, Moncton oh, Mills. Yes, yes, I would have washed my hands. I'd wash my hands. Yes, yes, yes. Secondly, of I would. when you're round um, there, how far away from me do you need to right, stay? I'm not, I'm not too sure. I, I, I'd like to be quite near to you, though. Well, you can't be Moncton Mills. No, you can't. No, no, no. Two oh, meters yeah, apart. Yeah, two meters apart. That's two, it. Two meters apart, yes. <laughs> Thirdly, how many people can I have around in my back garden? Well, the more the merrier, that's what no, I say. No, it's not Moncton Mills. A maximum of six. No. Maximum no, of six. Yeah. <laughs> 
maximum of six, six people, yes, of course. <laughs> and lastly, if you need to use a toilet, what must you make sure you do? Oh, well, I would, I'd need to make sure I'd zip myself up properly. No, Monster yes. Mills, you need to wash and, your hands and, and make and sure you wipe hands. everything down. And wipe everything down. You're useless, oh, Monster no, Mills. please let me You're not coming to me, barbecue. You. No, you're not. Your story maker, really beam him up. No, don't beam me beam up. Beam him up. And while you're at the story maker, you can beam me up as well. Here I go. Woo!